It's beer o'clock on Reload Craft Beer. Today we've got a bottle of Beck's Lager coming in at 4.8% ABV, brewed in accordance with the German purity law. Here's a look at the label, green glass, uh, established in Germany in 1873. Uh, it's a really hot day. I thought I'd have a, a lager today to review. There's the trademark key on the bottle label. Let's get the beer out into a glass, see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass then. It's now brewed by AB InBev. Oh, that is a light, light coloured beer. Wow. Looks really weird, to be honest. A weird coloured beer. Really light. Okay. Not so bad in the camera, but it looks really different from... To, to, from what I'm looking at here in the glass. Lots of carbonation, one finger white head. It's about 35 degrees outside at the moment. It's absolutely boiling. Um, never have I really had the opportunity to review these styles of premium lagers, um, but it's just so hot, it kind of lends itself to the occasion. Let's get the aroma. Little bit of biscuit malts. A little bit of a lot of sweetness to begin with, to be honest, in the aroma, and a little bit of bitterness. Years ago, I'd say when I was about 17, 18, I used to be quite partial to a pint of Bex. I used to have a pint of Bex when I was a, a, a youngster. Um, if, if ever I went to a pub or a, or a nightclub, went to a nightclub, and out late in the night. Um, I would always be trying something different, even back then. And even though this is this is, of course, nowhere near um, craft beer or real ale, it's it's a, a lager. It was still something different to what was available readily readily available in Wales back then. Let's dive in. Cheers. We're talking, blind me. We're talking twenty one years ago. Cheers. Twenty. 22 years ago, 20, yeah, 22 years ago. And again, for what it is, for the heat, the current weather, there's not much to it. I'm not standing here saying that this is full of of hops and, and lovely biscuit malt flavours. It's not, to be honest, but what it is, is very refreshing. This is a beer you can really chug back. And, quite strangely, green glass bottle, it is not skunked at all. There is not, no element of skunkiness, that's where the hops go a bit, well they go off basically, under the UV light of either the sun or the supermarket shelf with either clear glass or green glass. But none of it here, none of it here whatsoever. So a light, crisp, refreshing lager. Perfect for the current temperature, 35 degrees. Uh, this is actually brewed in the UK. Uh, where to in the UK? Uh, just AB InBev, so I imagine around the Midlands somewhere of the UK. Um, there's not really too much more to say. German brewing heritage. It's just a light, carbonated, carbonated, refreshing, easy drinking brew. And again, I've had worse beers. I've had worse beers out there. 2018 for me has been the year where I've begun to accept lager um, um, a lager's benefits, especially with the, the record breaking temperatures we've had. Rating. It's 
never going to be a beer where I raise, wave my arms around the kitchen like I sometimes do saying, stone the crows, this is absolutely fantastic. It was never going to be one of those beers. I went into the review knowing it was never going to be one of those beers. Um, it's just a cold lager that's actually quite refreshing. So for that reason, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. It's a 6 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers.